the Metro Tunnel will create 3,900 jobs in Victoria and 4,700 jobs nationwide. Whilst everyone typically thinks of people in IVIS and with a hard hat, I think that's only probably the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of related services, so there's, there's catering, there's courier drivers, lawyers, commercial advisors. You know, you'll have drivers and plumbers and cleaners and concreters, human resources people, and you'll have comms people and contract managers. I don't think there's a profession that you couldn't put in there or a trade. There are two mandated requirements by the state government. And the first one is anybody employing is required to have 10% of their man hours filled with apprentices, trainees or engineering cadets. So that opens up the opportunity to employ that grading and also with the duration of the project for them to become fully qualified throughout the project. The second, which is also very exciting, is a mandated 2.5% Aboriginal employment target, which opens up wonderful opportunities to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders communities and that would be the legacy and a continuing legacy for the project. The procurement methods we've used are best practice around the world to ensure that all the participants in the industry, whether they be international or local, have the same opportunity and that we award the project to the organisation best qualified to deliver it for us. The skill set is already in Victoria, apart from international expertise such as tunnelling through a, a capital city. This is one of the few projects that has the duration of a, a decade. So people can actually start in a project, qualify in a project and come out with a half a dozen years experience as well. This project offers great opportunities for people across all walks of life to be employed, to be skilled up. It feeds profit back into the economy and it builds confidence in industry. We're going through a transition in, in Victoria, moving from a heavily reliant manufacturing-based economy and moving more to a knowledge-based economy where we need to create more job opportunities in education, in research, in uh, medicine. And I think a key output of this project will be to connect workers to those new employment hubs, which will be around the Arden, Parkville and the Domain precincts, especially around the hospitals and the education precincts up around Parkville to strengthen the local economy. The key output from this project will be that we leave behind a legacy of highly skilled engineers and related workers who are not only able to continue to work within Victoria and Australia, but will be world leading in their industry and be able to apply their resources and skills elsewhere.